Black Pine, a quiet, idyllic town nestled between dense forests and towering mountains, a picture-perfect postcard of tranquility. This is where our story unfolds, where the whispering pines hold secrets and the mountain's shadow cloaks mystery. Beneath the peaceful veneer, something unsettling stirs. The town, once vibrant with life, now whispers tales of the vanished. A chilling wind sweeps through, murmuring unsettling words. People are disappearing. As the sun sets, the serene town plunges into uncertainty. But this peace has been disrupted. People are disappearing and no one knows why. In the local diner, hushed whispers fill the air. Talk of the town isn't the weather or the latest football game, but the disturbing disappearance of our neighbors. The chatter weaves a chilling tale of an ancient hermit, shrouded in mystery, living deep within the heart of the forest. His presence is as elusive as the moonlight, especially during full moons. A tale so intriguing it's enough to pique anyone's curiosity. An old hermit living deep in the woods, rarely seen and more so during full moons, it's enough to pique anyone's curiosity. And so, I decided to investigate. With that resolve, I found myself venturing into the dense forest, the whispers of the trees guiding me deeper into its mysteries. The forest, like a sentient being, seemed to have a pulsating life of its own, hiding secrets beneath its verdant canopy. As I delved deeper, an odd structure caught my eye, an old cabin, standing like a relic, a testament to time and solitude. The cabin, dilapidated yet defiant, bore the stories of its secluded inhabitant. The door creaked open at my touch, revealing an interior as intriguing as its occupant's reputation. Stepping inside felt like stepping into a different world. The air was thick with the scent of age-old wood and something else. Something inexplicably eerie. The cabin's walls, the canvas of an enigmatic artist, were adorned with lunar calendars and cryptic symbols. The sight was as fascinating as it was unsettling. A chill ran down my spine. The investigation had only just begun. As night fell, the forest came alive with sounds that made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. An orchestra of nocturnal creatures played a symphony that echoed through the dense woods, the rhythm of the wilderness adding an uncanny pulse to the evening. Emerging from the shadows, he appeared, the elusive hermit. Under the luminescent full moon, his form took on a different hue, his movements a peculiar cadence. His eyes glowed with an unnatural light, an unsettling reflection of the lunar glow. His behavior was erratic, his movements unpredictable. He paced, he growled, he seemed transformed. Under the moon's glow he looked different, almost beast-like. I followed him, my heart pounding in my chest. The moonlight filtered through the trees, casting long ominous shadows that seemed to dance on the forest floor. The hermit led me to a secluded clearing, a spot untouched by human hands for decades. The sight that met my eyes was both disturbing and compelling. Personal belongings of the missing townsfolk lay scattered across the clearing. Children's toys, women's pendants, men's wallets, all remnants of lives abruptly interrupted. Each item a chilling testament to the mystery that had befallen Black Pine. My mind raced, the implications of the scene before me turning my blood to ice. They were here, but where were they now? Suddenly, I was not alone. The air grew heavy, whispers floated through the trees, and in the dim moonlight, shadowy figures began to emerge. A chilling realization washed over me. These were the lost souls of Black Pine, the missing townsfolk, victims of the hermit's curse, forever bound to the forest. I ran, making it back to town by the break of dawn. The hermit's cabin, once a den of secrets, now ablaze, leaving more questions than answers. Back home, I wrote down my harrowing experience. This story, these secrets, they're a burden I carry alone, an unresolved mystery that haunts me. Every full moon, I'm reminded of the enigmatic hermit and the souls lost in the woods of Black Pine. What happened to them?